slap we're gonna slap some ghost face killer gonna who else oh, yeah. who else would tell you the real truth about chemistry ghost face killer of course Hello? so here's the thing you love what well, we'll see in a minute so hang on here we go <laughs> Doing dimensional analysis, the first thing you got to do is get measurements. And there's three measurements you need to know grams, meters, and Betsy, liters. Everybody there? Grams, meters, and liters. This is ground zero. You always want to go here. Grams, meters, and liters. Now, below grams, we've got something called decigrams. And one gram is equal to. Dece, decade, 10 decigrams. So one gram, 10 decigrams. And then below decigrams, we got centigrams. Centigrams for a century, how many years? A hundred. So one gram is equal to 10 decigrams or 100 centigrams. So far, so good. So century, decade, and then we got milligrams. And in Spanish, un mil is what? A thousand. A thousand. Ooh, that's Spanish. <laughs> so let's make it 10 to the 3 now. Can we, can we go revert to 10 to the 3? So a thousand is 10 to the 3, right? Okay, then skip down to this little symbol that looks like a U. It's actually micro, but this looks like Uggs. You may have worn them during the uh, cold season. So it's really micrograms. Micrograms. And micro is 10 to the 6. And then right below that, you've got nanograms. NG, nano. And nanograms is 10 to the 9. So how many nanograms in a gram? 10 to the 9. How many micrograms in a gram? 10 to the 6. How about milligrams? 10 to the 3. So notice the gram is bigger than all these guys, isn't it? Yeah. The gram is the big guy. All these guys are smaller in terms of, I need 10 of these to make one of those. I need 10 hundred of these to make one of those. Is it, isn't there a different name, though, when they're a negative exponent? Not really, but there's a different way of expressing like, it, like this. Like centimeter, or like, yeah, nanometer or something. Yeah, nanometer's down here. It's just 10 to the ten to the 9. Right. But you can write it two different ways. So, guys, doing it this way, everything is whole numbers. You can also do it in decimals. Which do you prefer, decimals or whole numbers? Numbers. All right, but for the test, you may have to know that you can also work it backwards. Instead of one gram is ten decigrams, one decigram, one decigram equals point one grams. And that's more ugly, isn't it? But you may have to know that. We're going to deal with the reds, but you need to know the blues for the test because it's much easier to deal with whole numbers than it is with decimals. So let's do the same thing with centigrams. One centigram equals how many grams? Point oh one. Point oh one, exactly. And then one milligram equals point point oh oh one. Exactly. So it's not rocket science, right? Said three O's. Oh my gosh. And this is this is for Willie. This is ten to the negative three grams. Yeah. So this is going to be ten to the negative six grams. And this is going to be ten to the negative nine grams. So one ug. That's probably the sound you make when you have to think about this. And then equals 10 to the neg 6, and then 1 nanogram is 10 to the neg 9. Can you all read that? Okay. I don't want to deal with the blues because it's stupid to have to deal with decimals. You know, it's much easier to deal with whole numbers, right? And we're going to deal with the whole number. But now there's one little twist of the knife that comes on because this is clear so far. Notice that 1 gram is 1,000 milligrams. A gram is bigger. But now, above this little virtual hotel that I'm establishing here with the basement numbers, there's also a penthouse up here, which is kilograms. And to actually answer this question effectively, we have to call on our guest for the evening, who's just flown in from Detroit, Ghostface Killer. Listen up. You get it? That was great. 
So can you forget it? A kilo is a easy to remember. Okay, so he's measuring something different than we probably measure in our chemistry labs, but that's okay. Chemistry is, you know, convertible to real business on the street or in the lab. Okay, so uh, if you're going to be a major drug dealer, you better know your dimensional measurements. <laughs> and suddenly everybody's motivated. Okay, I'm going to learn this. Especially Dylan. Okay, so. It's not a funny joke. You just made it. So, right, so what's the point here, guys? A kilo is a thousand. Every look, a kilo is a thousand grams. Now, you're going to get messed up here for this reason. Every look. Every look. When you're down in the basement here in our virtual hotel, the gram is the big guy. But when you get out of the basement and move up to the higher floors in the hotel, the kilogram is the big guy. So one kilogram is a thousand, a thousand grams, but one gram is a thousand milligrams. Do you see the difference? So you have to know which one's bigger in this little virtual scale that I've drawn. I've drawn all wrong. We can draw it again, Betsy. It's okay. So now what you're going to have to do is convert from like milligrams to kilograms oh. or decigrams to micrograms. So milligram is one one thousand of a gram. If you want to think of it that way. But and I think it's easier. But I think it's easier to use the virtual hotel analogy here and do everything this way. If we're going to go from first question, first question um, given. When did they start like? hammering us with like all these conversions from like grams to kilograms and like this no chapter so 5.3 milligrams given 5.3 milligrams the question is how many kilograms you guys ready what i'm going to show you now that's a what i'm going to show you now sorry my tweet got 25 favorites i'm really excited it's about my short. tweet's got eight retweets so okay. which one uh, oh my god guys it's like Ezra, no one's going to go to a rave with you, hashtag unfriended. Eight retweets, 11 favorites. That's what it said, like, eight minutes. But I said it I'm first. Sorry, I, I said it first. Okay. okay. But it's been, like, weeks ago. There was probably Yeah, I one. said it months ago. Jack. Oh. I was okay. the Spencer, I'm going to ban you, Spencer, from this class. Um, we want to go from here to here. We want to go from milligrams to kilograms. Are you guys with me? What I'm going to show you now, unfortunately, is the way the high school teachers in this district and probably the state and possibly the nation think that you're supposed to learn chemistry. It's absolutely the wrong way to learn chemistry. It's totally wrong and yet it's the methodology they're going to use all year. Chemistry is all about ratio and proportion. They will teach you chemistry using dimensional analysis. Here we go. This will not go away. This is going to stay with you for your methodology the whole year. If you want to go from 5.3 milligrams to kilograms, you start with the starting point, which in this case is 5.3 milligrams. Everybody with me? Okay, take the starting point, put it over one, just for fun. Then... Is this oh, the good way or the bad way? Well, this is the way you have to do it. It's, okay. It's the bad way, but instead of, instead of doing ratio and proportions with real chemical problems, you're going to use, they're going to teach you this method in this chapter using conversions between grams and milligrams and kilograms, then you're supposed to convert that take that methodology and use it next chapter to figure out mole ratios, but not using ratio and proportion, using this stupid dimensional analysis procedure. But you gotta learn it. That's the way she's gonna want you to, uh, to give your answers. So, you take ghost brackets. Halloween's coming up, so you do little ghost brackets here, right? Now, what goes up must come down. Must come down. So down here it has to be milligrams. And we're going from milligrams to kilograms. So guys, don't, don't, trust me on this, go from here to here. In your virtual hotel, take the elevator to the ground floor, and then, remember, it's a basement thing, switch elevators to get to the king size suite. Everybody good? So we're going to go to the ground floor always, whether the ground floor is grams or meters or liters. So we're going to go from milligrams to what? You guys tell me. Grams. Grams. Now, in one gram, there are how many milligrams? A thousand. Didn't we just see that? One gram, ten to the three milligrams. And the big one was the grams, and the big one gets the big one. Are we still with me? 
Now watch what happens in the next ghost bracket. What goes up must come down. Must come down. And now we're at the ground floor. We're switch hotels and we're going to go up to the kilogram suite. So we're going to go from grams to kilograms. Now which is the big one? Kilograms. The kilograms. And kilo is a thousand grams. Easy to remember. remember. So now notice the switch. The kilogram gets the one because it's the big one. And a thousand grams. So ten p cubed. And then and then slash, uh huh, and burn. Oh yeah, and that gets you your final unit. But now we got to deal with the numbers here. So do you just do five point three times ten to the third? So you go five point. You go multiply, 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 over, multiply, multiply. And this is ten to the third, right? Did this make it ten to the third? A thousand is ten to the three. Question, Dylan. Wait, so are kilograms a metric system? Yeah. Are, are pounds metric system? No, too? no. But kilograms, kilometers, kiloliters. Aren't pound aren't pounds measured into grams too? You can convert them into grams. That should probably give you a stupid conversion sheet that has like five different ways of converting pounds to inches to whatever. Yeah, why do they do that? But guys, stay with me on this. Dylan, I've got 10 to the 3 and 10 to the 3. What happens when I have 10s? When you multiply them, you end up doing what to the exponents? Yeah. So that's really 10 to the 6, correct? Wait, why'd you cross out those zeros? Well, I made it 10 to the 3 instead of 5. Oh, Same okay. thing. Easier to put these two together. Okay. And that's 10 to the 3 times 10 to the 3 is 10 to the 6. Yes? Mm -hmm. nope. So I've got 5.3 over 10 to the 6. And usually what you do is what? You get rid of the exponent on the bottom by doing what? airlifting it to the top. So you end up with 5.3 times 10 to the 6. When you lift it up, you got to make it negative. Negative 6. And what are our units? Kilograms. So that's how we went from 5.3 milligrams to 5.3 times 10 makes 6 kilograms. Is there like a trick or some sort of thing? This is the trick. Just doing it this way. And the trick is to know shortcut? that the big one, this is a shortcut. <laughs> No, I know. It's, it's boring, What's isn't the it? Version? And it is, actually, this is the only version. If you're going to do it like this, this is the way you do it. Okay, here's another one. So this time, guys, everybody look. You with me, Willie? Yeah. We're going to go from UGS, which is micrograms, the UG is like a, a little Greek letter for micro. Yep. To decigrams. Now, let me ask you guys this question before you start. Everybody look. True or false, I should go directly from here to here. No. The easiest way to do this and the most effective is always go to the ground floor and then take another elevator back down again. So you go up here, down, over here. It's because unless you're really brilliant at math, you know, you're going to make a mistake when you're trying to convert this in your head. But if you do it the dimensional analysis way, you'll get the numbers all right. So as far as getting the numbers right, the dimensional analysis thing works okay. It's just that when you start doing chemical problems, you don't really need it. You can use ratio proportion. But let's start. We're going to start with 0.0102 Uggs. And we always put it over 1 just for fun. What is this U? Like, why are they adding different letters to the alphabet? So <laughs> more you. precise measurements. Okay, well, how so do I draw that? The, yeah, like just like a U. U. Just like a U. It's just a U. U with a tail. Isn't it, it Greek? Isn't it a Greek letter? Yeah, it's a Greek letter for micro. No, no, no. End at the end. What? Betsy, Betsy, it's, don't stress out of it. It's okay. <laughs> if you want, just go like this. That's it. Just go up. Uh. Okay, I'll try it. All right. Jack, you with me? Yeah. We did UG here. So what goes up must come yeah. down. Down. So we got UGs in the bottom. Now, where are we supposed to go? We're supposed to go to decigrams. Should we go there first? No. no. Now we should go up to? Grams. Grams. So go up to grams. And which is the big one? The grams or the UGs? Grams. grams. So there's one gram and how many UGs? Ten to the six. Ten to the six. Everybody remember that? That's our blue, blue, our blue graph right here, or red graph, actually. 10 to the 6, Uggs, and 1 gram. So far, so good? Is, are these like measurements in the book or no? 
Because I couldn't find these. Are we going to well, memorize it? It's right here in the, on page uh, 130. They have the mm. listing of them, the most common ones. Uh, okay. All right. The one I didn't do is Mega. Mega doesn't come up very often. There's also one more up here that you can't see, Char um, um, Willie. It's Hella. But they left that one out. Yes. Hellegram. Yeah, Hellegram. Wait, seriously? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I believe in like a uh, yeah, one section. Okay. okay, so. Um, uh, yeah. Can't you just. Can't you just. Um, you can. In your head, you can try it. No, whoa, whoa. Can't you just move the decimal around? Yeah, yeah. But and go ahead, Dylan. If you can do it, that's fine. No problem. You know? If you can do it fast like that, fine. Just make sure you don't make any dumb mistakes, okay? Wait. Well, no, it's going to be we all, It's going to be 10 I'm to the negative 12. Well, see if it works. So check it out. If you can do it in your head, I'm not going to say no, but I can't teach it that way. Right? And if you do it in your head and you're not really good, Spencer, you're going to make a dumb mistake. I'm and, horrible at math. And, and you're, well, if you're horrible at math. I'm good at math. Well, maybe it'll work. So see, see if, it, if it turns out, do, try it in class, Dylan. If she's doing the board and you can do it in your head and you're consistently correct, it's okay. But if you're not, if you're making dumb mistakes, do it this way, because this is the foolproof way. It'll always work. Okay. All right, so we got one gram on top. What goes up yeah. must come down. And now we want to go from grams to decigrams. Now, this time the gram's in the bottom. But it's which one's still bigger? Is the gram bigger or the decigram? The gram's still bigger, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So the big one gets the big one. one. So this one gets 10 to the one. one. Because there's one gram, ten decigrams, and one gram, right from my red. The red thing right here is what we're going to be using, yes? Because that's the easiest oh, yeah. way to do it. So, one gram, ten decigrams. Yeah? So now, we're going to end up on the next page. I've got to flip it. But look, we got ten to the one over here, and ten to the six over here. What do I do with decimals with the exponents rather than when they're on the top and the bottom? Subtract. Subtract. Top minus bottom. So it's one minus six is ten to the next six, and I carry this across. 0 0.0102 times 10 to the neg 6, and then we got a slash and burnt 10 neg 5. 10 neg 5, and we got a slash, uh huh, and burn, oh yeah, and we end up with decigrams. It'll always work that way. Okay, now we're not done. Yeah. Yeah, so, so do you see, if you're trying to do your head, did you get 10 to the negative 5 yet or not? Oh, I wasn't. Okay. And now, Scott says we got to do one more thing. we got to change the scientific notation, which is one Wait. digit before the decimal. Everybody remember that? One digit before the decimal? So, what do you got, Scott? I got 1.02 times 10 to the negative 7. Negative 7. Which way do you want to go? Watch. Um, 1, 2, right? This is getting bigger, so this has to get... Smaller. Smaller by 2, so 10 to the neg 7. Good correction. So our final answer is 1.2 times 10 to the neg 7 decigrams. I'm good How would you get negative 5 to start with? Because if you subtract 6 from 1, you No, get it's top minus bottom. Oh, face palm. Okay. Top <laughs> minus bottom. What did she say? Phase 1? Face palm. Oh, oh, I like that. I need that myself. Face palm. Okay. <laughs> so one minus six is net ten make five, and then you adjust okay, yeah. to make it ten make seven. I got you. Okay. Are you guys ready to do one of your own? Oh yeah. Hey Willie, Willie, don't uh, disturb the cameraman. Just focus. Asshole. Which you're not. Okay. So uh, but that's his job. Right. To focus. So uh, yours is too, matter of fact. So everybody ready? Yeah. Try this on your own. I'm ready. You've got. You've got um, 3.7 kilograms, and we want um, how many milligrams? How many um, centigrams? So go from kilograms to centigrams. Kilograms to centigrams. You're so good, Scott. Good. Are you kidding? What the? Hey, boy genius. <laughs> nice, Scott. You just add show. Don't, don't yeah. tell him. I got that. <laughs> <laughs> Scott, don't tell him because unless you're really good with this, this one was this one was easy to do in your head, right? Because it was straight down. Yeah. It's harder when you got to go up and come back down again. 
But yeah. Well, I, I know it's 3,700. Yeah, that's as far as I got too. One. It's just a placeholder. One. Okay. okay. It's one. It's there for just for fun. Just oh, the whole. Just the whole spot. It's it's three point seven times ten to the fifth. Yes. Oh. I can do it. Oh yeah. Okay. But okay. guys, this is an easy one to do in your head. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, but nonetheless, yeah. If you can do it in your head, that's great. Huh? Um. But I just don't want to teach it that way. Is one. it three point seven? <laughs> I'm not. Times. Shit. Ten to the fifth. Wait. Yeah. This is all I got. Spencer, you do it on paper. Okay, so we go kilograms to what, Scott? Kilograms to um, centigrams. No, but kilograms. Oh, do, do, uh, grams. Grams. Kilograms to grams. Now, guys, look. Which is the big one? The gram or the kilogram? Kilogram. So the big one gets the big one, and a kilo is a thousand grams, according to Ghostface Kilo. Yeah. And then what goes up? Must come down, and we're going from grams to centigrams. Now, which is the big one? Grams. Grams. And a century is 10 to the 2. So you can see why the numbers came out easy, because it was just 10 to the 3 times 10 to the 2 is 10 to the 5. And this just stays the same.